everybody and welcome back to another deck guide to Derek me taking a look at force of nature Koshi but this time it's gonna be using a lot of the cards at the Gunakora deck which was broken which still feels pretty broken to me is using you got the things like Mamuna which gives you more Karanthi targets and you could potentially in this deck even go Karanthi onto Bloody Mistress even though that's a lot worse than it used to be but Monsters still feels like one of the strongest factions if not the strongest faction and a lot of these cards are still pretty broken especially Mamuna and um, yeah we'll discuss what the deck does and how everything goes in just a while um, but this is going to be a force of nature deck this one is going to obviously play a nine point leader ability which is the nice thing with this leader ability is you can play it on the same turn that you play your koshi which ends and instantly triggers your thrives and also helps you get your sabbath quicker and the nice thing about this is also the fact that it's a relic this leader ability which means i can also help proc other things like i don't know cat red catcheress or maybe you want another body for the Gansian and so on and so forth um, but overall very strong leader ability in this deck and um, you're going to be playing this with your Kashi quite often then we have the Neuromant for some consistency this deck does need to draw certain key cards so we need the Neuromancy there then we have a Shia Nose now you could opt to cut the Shia Nose if you wanted more control you could play like Heat Wave and then upgrade something down here to another lock like an Aguera if you do find yourself needing more locks um, I could also see a strong argument to instead of playing Squirrel you could play something like a um, to so something like a natural selection for Squirtle if you want to take against Squirtle because Squirtle right now that four damage can actually be quite valuable um, against those <clears throat> pesky whisperers so you could also take it for that if you wanted to um, then we have ourselves the she who knows which I was talking about at the end of the round get resilience if um, to the high give resilience to the highest power base power units on your side of battlefield which is often going to be the she who knows she's going to give resilience to herself and um, obviously you have to have Sabbath, so you have to have 25 points or more in a row. And then the nice thing is, is that in the next round, if you get Sabbath again, she can give resilience to herself or something else again, which means this card can play for 30 plus points during the course of the game, which is quite powerful, quite powerful indeed. And um, especially good when you get red coins, abuse your opponent with that carryover and the tempo that this deck can put out. Bloody Mistress is a nice value card. Um, just really good value it's also sabbath so at the end of the turn if you do have sabbath it's going to transform itself into gunakora and then it's going to spawn two gunakora's fruits which is basically like spawning a neckers in a way and then the gunakora will if you lose sabbath she'll transform back which means she'll get more fruits potentially but um if not she will end up boosting herself by um however many fruits you have on your side of the board which means she can also boost herself by potentially two points a turn which is just like three angels on the board in one shot, which is kind of insane. Still a very good card, even after the nerf. The, the nerf, by the way, for those that don't know, they now make it so it always retains its base power between the transformations. So if you do play Karanthi on the on the Bloody Mistress, she will stay at one point. So it's a lot worse of a Karanthi target. Then Kashi, <clears throat> one of the best Karanthi targets in this deck. This is going to be... Uh, basically it's gonna be a thrive engine and whenever this card's thrive is triggered it's gonna spawn a a larva or rather it's gonna spawn a um it's gonna spawn a drone but if you have adrenaline four it'll spawn a larva instead so you often want to play this when you have five cards in hand this will be the fourth card then or when you have four cards and then you play current in this it'll instantly trigger its first thrive and then you can potentially go leader ability in the first one if you're scared of removal or if not then you play the second one play the leader ability proc all the thrives and then you have a whole bunch of larvae being spawned left and right and this is quite a crazy amount of points in those shorter round threes and then we have mamuna um, another target which you could current it if you have enough targets for it but this is going to be banishing it's going to have order zeal it's going to banish a card from your graveyard um or a bronze rather from your grave and it's going to boost itself by that card's power so kind of like a ghoul but then also it's going to summon a copy of it from the deck um if you have don't have sabbath and if you do have sabbath you can to play that copy instead so if you don't have sabbath you can pull out a self eater play one self eater round one then round two or round three play mamuna pull out another self eater or you could do it on gansian um also pretty good on gansian too and um yeah just great value as another finisher if you do not have your koshi you can obviously use the moon as another target as well then we have the karanthia spawn and play a one copy base power monster unit from your hand on this row like i said very valuable on koshi very valuable mamuna sorry and then also can potentially if you're really desperate be used on a bloody mistress if you think your opponent can't answer it could also still be good on that potentially then we have the rat catcheress this is going to be basically be a nine for seven and then has another um, ability where if you have sabbath whoops and we've got a cat joining the video here. Um, if you have yourself Sabbath, it will then cancel its ability, which is actually pretty good. It will cancel the negative part of the ability. So the negative part of the ability is whenever this card takes damage, it's going to be damaging itself um, by... <clears throat> 
by an additional one. So if your opponent does one damage or two damage, three damage, it's going to take damage again. Um, but if you have Sabbath, it won't take the extra damage. And also it has another up, it has an upside where every time you play a Relic, this card will strengthen itself by one, making it actually an engine in this deck. Then we have the three crones. I'm not going to get into too much detail, but basically each crone you play is going to make the other crone better. So um, you often want to play Brewers first, then the other two in that order usually. Um, and each crone you play will make the next crone stronger, do more damage or do more boost. So pretty strong combo there. Also Relic cards. Then you have the Dora Gray, just some control. I think you could probably put more control in this deck this is going to lock a unit again if you want more control you can cut the shinos for a heat wave and you can also put a guar in the deck then and maybe you want to cut one of the four provision cards for a natural selection or something just to give you that extra bit of control to deal with some things um which is pretty much a stick's only weakness really is a lack of control i think then you have the self eater card which is absolutely phenomenally good probably better than well, it is better than larvae. That's why we're running two self eaters and only one larvae. This card is absolutely insane. It's a six power unit that also has an audibility. And every time you use the audibility, it'll split itself or half its power, spawn another copy of itself. And then that copy can grow and then split itself kind of like a, like a virus in a way. It's going to just constantly be splitting itself. And obviously the more targets you have of this, the better. Because whenever you play a relic card, this card will strengthen itself by one which is incredibly valuable with all these Relic cards and a very nice Bermuda target as well. Very, very strong card in this deck. Then we have Andrega Larvae, which is going to be another engine to help out in those round ones. Um, spawn a base copy of this unit and summon to a row. It's going to be able to, obviously, every time a card is played that's higher than this card's power, it's going to thrive, which means it's going to boost itself, which is quite nice. Then we have the Maxi, just give a bit of consistency. Remember, you really want to have things like Koshi and Mamuna enhanced. You can play Karanthia on them. You don't want to be playing a Neuromancy into Koshi, so... Having the Maxia really helps make sure you can see where that, that cost is in the deck and then decide if you want to shuffle the deck. Um, so Max, you can look at your whole deck and see the exact order of the deck. If you don't like the order, you can shuffle one of those cards to the bottom of the deck and then shuffle the rest of the deck as well. Um, if you do like the order, you can just keep it as is and you can just and draw into the cards as they were then we have the Gansi and this is going to be able to um, boost its base or rather it's going to increase its base power by two for each adjacent relic so you put two relics next to each other then you play this card it strengthens itself to nine or boosts itself to nine well not boost but it it, it, it it goes up to nine and obviously this is carryover because of the fact that Muna gets some great value on that then we have the witch apprentice another relic at the end of your turn boost self by two if you have sabbath um, so just another engine and also quite powerful two pointer turn engine is very very strong if you can get that south condition then we have the kiki more worker this is going to be kind of a backup um mamuna target not the best one but it is you know you could use it on this and this is going to be whenever you play an insectoid gain one armor not really going to worry too much about that armor but it's just going to be a seven for four that has a bit of a downside if you do lose the armor if someone does do four damage this armor takes it away it will die so you've got to be careful about that but otherwise nice seven for four pretty easy to get and um also not a terrible mamuna target all the bear no ability just a six for four just there to proc some thrives just there to get some easy tempo nothing too special about that um could also change that out for natural selection if you want to um if you want to keep the squirrel also to option um Arcuspor, death wish summon all copies of of this card to this row um so you're going to play this card then you're often going to use either brewers or an andrega warrior to eat it and then just use a little bit of thinning some consistency there and andrega warrior as i mentioned this can consume adjacent units and if one of the units are a, an insectoid it can spawn a drone on the row so if you want to consume an, a kicking more worker that is an insectoid which might be a play and then squirrel um banish a card from your opponent's graveyard so you can use it on a neuromancy on any type of echo card or something that has some kind of carrier value you can obviously use squirrel that's anyway that's the deck like i said i think the deck is still very good a little bit different than obviously the gunakora or the fruits of yusuke deck so at the beginning of the season but still this deck feels very very strong right now and um it should be one of the top tier decks during this season all right so let's get into some gameplay now and see how we do Any last words? 19. It's pretty good. It's 19. 19 for 10. It's quite strong. Can we get some red coins, please? Holy moly. What is this Gwent the blue coin card game? First guy, Gord, yes, I got 22. Yeah, I mean, depending on what deck you're playing, it's quite... I mean, I've seen Gord go up to 
25. I think I had a gold. Yeah, I think I had a gold of 25 once. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. These cards smurf on this deck so hard because you can't lock them. It's actually annoying. Critical thinking. The sign of a healthy mind. Actually annoying. Oh my god. The Valley of Flowers. There is no place more beautiful. Holy crap, okay. Uh I mean I'm gonna play Shinos and get out probably. Splendid crops this year, and ever they shall be. Leave it to me. The powers I wield were born. I just can't play into this. I just can't play into this. The earth will flow with the blood of I guess theoretically I could play this. Is this okay? Can this keep me ahead? So this would play for nine. I'm up by currently thirteen, so I'll be up by twenty-two. Orb would play for. We'll get plus. So it would be four. Eight, plus six. Yeah, I can keep ahead with just this. But some less though. I, mean, I could play whispers here and kill thingy now. I suppose and then this one get as much value and then play the Gansi. I don't know. Mm. The value of flowers. There is no place more beautiful. I want to get this in the grave for, for obvious reasons. I want that in my grave. <laughs> And maybe now take a pass. Hmm. I actually don't want to pass just yet, though. I mean, now I can, because now I'm crossing the threshold way. Okay. Nice. So we're not That's good. Maybe I'll kill Brock Long Girl. I don't think so, because this, this card that I killed was carryover. And without this card, these are a lot worse anyway. So score right now represents how many points? It represents eight plus one on gold. So it's representing a nine point squirrel. I might keep the squirrel, honestly. It's a nine point squirrel, assuming there's gold, which is okay. Think you can escape? Mm. <laughs> Probably a heat wave, right? I wish I'd play around a heat wave. Um, so we do that, and we can go for um, a bloody mistress next turn. Problem is, one of the larvae will die to the way lane. Mm. Maybe I first get the. Apprentice down, then we can decide. I could drown in a single drop. Opinions are like ours. Everyone's got one, Doesn't but most of your best sat upon. Oh. Scroll with an effigy. I don't know. Effigy can be better, but like, squirrel's more reliable. Expensive, but sure. It's the first second year first. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. Mm. I mean, I can Karanthia Mamuna, but I don't have a second target. I mean, I could Neuromancy a second target if I wanted to. Neuromancy like a self eater. Just to make sure that I can grant the Mamoon as a next round instead of Koshi in case I miss. Ten Ikea. Ted Dayred is nigh. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's give ourselves a backup plan in case we don't draw Kashi. Or we go card down here, yeah, we've got a lot out of him, so it's fine. Okay. So I guess we pass, go card down. I could have maybe Karanthia Maruna I mean, Mamuna now. And then tried forcing myself a pass. And then kept the maybe. I don't know. So I miss on the Koshi. Then I make a near man to the Koshi still, I guess. Spit it out already. I don't have all day. Okay. We can go bloody mistress next. Then Mamuna. For the daisy of the valley! If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. I guess first we go we first go Caranthia. And then we go Mamu then we go um bloody mistress. God, it's so nice having extra Karanthia targets. Now you don't have to rely on drawing Kashi. Kind of crazy, actually. Like, look at these points. Look at these points. Blueberries, blueberries. The lady of the woods. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? It's just monsters being monsters. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Um, okay, so we mulligan away. This. And. Why would you mulligan here? My hand's a bit too good. I, mean, I don't know why I should mulligan. I mean, I'm on red coins. Maybe I don't mind hand being too good. I guess whatever. I could maybe mulligan my moon, but I'm worried I don't draw into it again. Nausicaa, no charge. Ah, uh, you see, this is where it becomes weird, right? This is this the greediest engine he has. He might have greedy engines. This is the problem when the when it's the start of a meta, right? You don't know what. Maybe he plays. Glynis, maybe. I guess he's playing double cross, probably plays Glynis. But then again, he probably has Purify if that's the case anyway, so I'm just gonna take the lock. The, eh, eh, the thing is, if he's playing a Simulate deck with Glynis, he probably plays a Purify regardless, so maybe locking Nars, whatever. They say you are what you eat. <laughs> Okay. I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. Stronger this one on the fruits version. Um, honestly, I don't know. I haven't played fruits since the hotfix. Um, fruits always got a, bit, a lot worse with the Karanthia nerf, but I mean, fruits might still be pretty okay. 
I'm not sure which is better though between the two. I'm just trying out Koshi to see if Koshi feels better or not, but yeah, I'm not sure which is best between the two of them. What is it you want? Long live the Emperor! Long may he reign! Long may he reign! Hearts, livers are full of deliciousness. Whatever. It's not like this card is super important anyway. Just putting portals, getting engines, let me get my own engines done. You will not regret this, good sir. I know the truth. Okay, so I obviously that's gonna be a very big thingy of his. Art is gonna be pretty insane on that, but sure. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. I am devoured only to be born anew. I'm on red coin. <laughs> so many points for no reason. So many points. So many points. It is actually so crazy. Brute forcing assimilate. Yep, pretty much. Uh. Okay, I need to get this in the grave for Mamuna. I mean, I could Mamuna thingy. It's not the end of the world. Ah! Okay, it's looking like I'm a moon onto a thingy actually, onto a self eater. Maybe it's Karanthi of Mamuna. I could see that. Karanthi of Mamuna, and then we keep the mother Mamuna for this in round three. Yeah, whatever, let's do it. There is no escape. Okay. And if I insert a needle here, what then? No, I don't never like I just won't be able to play this one this round though. And then we can go for I don't know. Which apprentice next something? Your name, young man, demands you be cursed Come on. Into yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. I can't do all of them in the game, though. When pigs fly, eh? Okay, so I'll do that. When you made a saint nor yell at the dinner table, it's rude. So many points up. To be fair, his um, Terra Nova is going to play for a ton of value because of she knows and yeah. Okay. Don't snap your spout at me. I'm not feeling good. So just damage that. Goes leader here for what? Can't see him. Sure. Wouldn't have your hair on my head, she said. Just for you. Terra Nova gone, Brothen's gone. Um, Leader gone. Yeah, chat, you you can spam me all you want to share the deck, but I'm in a game right now and I can't share the deck when I'm in a game. Onward, onward! To be showered with Imperial Gold! Dumb, it's a pity I can never finish. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah! Rise, my daughters. Ah! Ah! Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> That's spooky. Oh, God. Okay, so I have the mulligan away you. Can I draw my, um, Kashi, please? I love the smell of a burning village in the morning. I mean, that's not really much worse, I guess. It's like one point worse. I divined this move from a sparrow's innards. is inevitable merely a matter of time. okay i want to consume this right now i should have kept thinking i guess i don't know there was going to be a stefan jeez everyone on ladder is trying to like out greed each other right now who can be the greediest Double coup de grace on this though is gonna play for an obscene amount of points. I actually really wish I had kept um this in Drago Warrior right now. In hindsight. Your magic can't harm me. No magic can. Okay, so coup de grace plays for 13 plus. Place should plays 26 points. He's gonna get 26 points now. Actually more, plus throw. Oh god. 30 something points actually. It is a lot of points, but we might still be winning, I think. Just by the sheer power of brute force. By the sheer power of weight, don't you go another coup de weight? It's better just take coup de grass. You could do three damage as well. What are you hoping to? What? You just take the coup de grass. It's just better. Okay, whatever. You know, decks like this. Or greedy decks like this. Monsters really should be losing. But we're just like brute forcing past it. Like, it just doesn't. It's kind of stupid, right? Alright, so this matchup should be bad, but we've beaten both of them we're playing against today. Especially these full on Bounty decks that shouldn't they be even worse, but we're beating them, so. That's nice. No bully. Let the self-eater live. Self-eater did nothing wrong. Better luck next time, pal. Hearts, livers, awful, delicious. Their minds, malleable as clean. And just as squishy. Okay. Europe, Union, then Zedea, yes, I would much prefer to live in another country. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> I would definitely prefer to live in a different country, yes. All I need to do is win the lottery so I can afford to move. Kind of has to pass here, right? It's a lot of points. 
Ah, die Plante, das... I suppose you could go multiple cards down, that's the problem. I live now, South Africa. Alright, so I get 10 points of carryover, which is... 11 points of carryover, which is... I mean, that's optimal, but whatever. Um, let's see, what are we gonna draw into, though? Slow. I might my Mamamuna target. You will be much happier. Gives me Sabbath, which is nice. I guess. It's quite aggressive, but. Well, we've not enough. Okay, Junior's gone now, that's good. I sense your pain. I see your fear. So Junior gone. So one of the Kashi answers gone. Clue are gone, that's quite big as well. Another little thunderbolt. German. That's good. Keep that the way it is. Um hmm. Graden gonna be juicy? Wait, how do you know there's a Graden? How are you knowing of the Graydon potential? <clears throat> and if I see a bounty come, my catches them out. Very out. In before Igni. Actually, can't be. It's neutral. This is devotion. Hmm. Board cards for the you get in journey. How's you doing business with you? Graydon is so okay. Morel says cheat smile. <laughs> I mean no one plays Morels, right? 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 Right. No one plays Tarimble either. Tarimble's also cheating. <laughs> cards are cheats. Stop playing cards. No. New banner, it's a rotating banner. You'll see it pop up every 30 minutes or so. New banner where? No, it's gonna it's be gonna there be. every couple of minutes. Okay, that has to be my pass. That absolutely has to be my pass.
Right, has no one seen the, the thing played so far? I should have played at least like two or three times. To the fires, Windham! To the fire! No? So, Brewers is coming soon, which means I can keep that. Eh, this is actually still better to just have this. Actually, no, Brewers is not coming. I guess we can neuromancy into it, though. We finish them, then I finish you. Okay. So hot, so sweet. Get your baldy faced baby. Okay. Wouldn't touch your hair on my head, she said. There you go, Karanthi next. Ha! Huh. Truly extraordinary. Can I didn't work? Never mind. Work definitely than I thought it would work. Anyway, um no If I go again. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I guess I do. Ah, then it gives him more to kill with the drill before yeah, no. no. The North, Tamaria. Before Graydon. Makes it much harder for him to kill a drill. I don't know if he is playing Philippa though. Maybe he is. I don't know if people still play Philippa. I have no idea. I have no idea. this next unless I see a drill then I kill that ASAP <laughs> you have to go through all this effort now to kill this Lul. Can you even kill it? I think you can just kill it, yeah. You have to use one of these, though. I guess I just lock this. You can't purify. He's ready to play his purify. I don't think I need to lock this. I could have kill this and lock that, but I don't need to. I'm just gonna play this, play this, and then. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I lose out on value one way or the other. Okay, 
I guess if that buddy misses the finisher, proc the thrives, kill this first. I guess. Bloody mistress finisher chat, Pog. So good. So busted. Wag your tongue to anyone and see it swiftly. What are you gonna bleed? You you can bleed this, this, and this, and then what? I guess you just damage one of the larvae. I guess. Whatever. So, so far today, we've beaten every single Syndicate deck we've played against. How about that? Boom! Anyway, that is deck guide. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this deck um, or how you feel about this deck in general. I know a lot of people haven't been really loving this deck because of how oppressive it's been, but I mean, it actually is somewhat fun to play, at least at first. Um, there are some cool things that happen in this deck. And um, yeah, very strong deck. One of the strongest decks, if not the strongest deck right now. I think it's right up there, even with Squirtle and Syndicate. Uh, very, very powerful and should be one of the top tier decks throughout the season. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if and I'll and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye bye. <clears throat>